Megami will return in two chapters. I have never stood on business so hard it just came out right and definitively said something like that before, but I'm putting all my stocks in the Megami returning in two chapters. And why you may ask? Angel has symbolism on the chapter one cover. She just used Jacob's Ladder. We're at least gonna talk to Megami in the next two chapters. But I will say that I think Megami is returning in two chapters. I'ma stand on business on what I said. I came across a tweet a couple days ago aligned with a old theory that I made. I mean, this theory has been around since before Gojo's fight started. And it's about Megami's return. Of course, cope, 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 I get it. Or you might be like, damn, didn't you drop two Megami videos already? Yes. As one of the last remaining Megami defenders, I have to stand on that front line and stand on business, which I will do for my boy. Let me give you a bit of backstory though first. So if you know in the chapter 1 cover of Jujutsu Kaisen, there's these two frogs on Megami. One has angel wings, one has Sukuna marks. You can kind of see where I'm going. Without really thinking too much and expanding on that, and just looking at the chapter 1 cover, I did a little bit of digging about what frog symbolism in Japan it has to do with a lot about a safe return, or the assurance of prosperity. They are often depicted in folklore as benevolent creatures that bring good fortune and ward off evil spirits. They are also seen as symbols of transformation and renewal. Now my smooth brain self didn't really pick up on the fact that the chapter 1 cover, the two frogs, that symbolizes angel. It never really clicked to me even though it's kinda obvious. My original theory was about the frog symbolizing a safe return for Megami to come back. He will be the one to put a stop to Sukuna. He's going to get the killing blow. But now, all three characters looking to the left, they're going to die. Gojo's dead already. Nobara's dead already. And I do believe Yuji will die. But I think it's going to be Yuji's choice to die. I think he will surrender himself and basically take over as the vessel for Sukuna. Or maybe the merger. Megami will do like as he said at the end of chapter 1. He will exercise the curse known as Yuji Dori. But he won't say curse in this scenario. Your final words are a curse. And I do believe that Yuji is going to selfishly make Megami accept his selflessness. If that makes sense. No one reached Megami yet. Yuji came close. But then he got slashed. And it was over. Yuji will reach Megami. He could not save Junpei. He could not save Nobara. He could not save Nanami. Yuji will save Megami. And he will force him to. And he will force a life to live for others. That's the renewal. It will bring a change in Megami. He will live his life going forward with the memory of Yuji and be more Yuji-esque, more altruistic. That's a good enough ending for me. As a Megami fan, I'm hyped. Call it cope. Whatever you want, better than dope. And the play out from there is a battle in the innate domain. It would be Yuji and Megami versus Sukuna. Megami has his whole kit. We get to see the full realization of the Ten Shadows domain, which I think might be able to revive the shadows, that um, Dashi Dokoro thing that people theorize, but that skeletal structure in Megami's domain. And it will come time where they have to make a decision where only one of them can basically stay as the vessel for Sukuna and let the other one leave. And that's where Yuji will force his um, will upon Megami to live for others and continue growing and you know have a rebirth essentially. So I mean can you really be upset at Megami if the scenario does play out to where he's been looking away from everything Sukuna has been doing since Sumiki? Not to mention the unlimited voids. If he's looking down and he's not paying attention to what's happening he won't know how bad the situation is. One thing is true Yuji did not talk to Megami at 251. Go back and read it. I don't think it's fair to Megami to like hate on him until Yuji actually reaches him. He didn't give up on Yuji or anybody. He was just mumbling to the ground, which I think we can all say, understand that with everything going on. Man, just hearing myself, it, I can just like imagine all the times I've saw a Gojo tweet or a Nobara return tweet and just thinking like, look at this, they're so Delulu. I know that's how I'm sounding right now, but hey, agenda matters. Thanks for staying for the whole video, remember, like and subscribe. See you next time. Peace.